this is one simple test that we are going to run on the existing program and we will now execute this there are as a dev, as a customer there are two ways to attach a tdl to your tally one you can go to your tally folder in here we have tally.ini here we have used this parameter user tdl is equal to yes and you can provide tdl is equal to and you can provide the entire path of your tdl This is one way the user can do. Open tally ini that exists in the tally application folder. User tdl is equal to yes and tdl is equal to the file path with the file name and the extension. This is one way the user can do. Another way the user can open tally application F12 TDL that is product and features F4 manage local TDLs here you can copy and control all to be paste the file path and save this here you will be able to see we have a file name here that we have given d drive and the file path is entered and this is the local file another way that you uh, now this is what a user can do so F12 product and features F4 and manage local TDL. Now you are not a you. Obviously, this is for a particular customer, and as a developer, uh, it makes no sense for you to give the file path in your application. What as a developer you can do is tools preferences. Compiler and execution. Provide your tally exe path, the working dictionary path, and the options that you want to provide, and you say OK. From here, right click on the file and say execute tally. Tally is executed and here we can see the TDL has been added. So you can see TDL here, F12, product and features and here you will see the file. Now when I press F4, it is not available here because it's just a temporary execution of this text file from your tally developer it does not exist in your configuration file right now we'll just select our company and uh, we'll do one thing we will load it by default so f12 data configuration and by default load a specific company yes ensure that the company is loaded so F12 
Network, Data Configuration, C Programming Files, So do you see the text here? It is changed to simple accounting. So this is how you test whether you are at the right place to for this particular menu. Now we will add a new item to our gateway of tally. So what do we want to do? We want to add. What do you want to add? Now we will add a key item. The name of the item will be first TDL. So that's what you will see here. The first, here is where you will see the first TDL. What is the key? So you can select the key. What do you want to do? Display. What do you want to display? My first TDL report. So this is how it shows. Hash my menu definition gateway of tally. And what key item? Which item? First TDL. Which key? F. What do you want to do? Display. Display what? The report's name. Right? And now since we have declared that we would be using this report, we need to define this report. So open square bracket. Report. My first TDL. Now what does a report contain? A report contains form. And I will write my first TDL form. Again this is a declaration. So now we will open and say define the form. First TDL form. Now what does a form contain? Form contains part. First TDL part. What does a part contain? Part. First TDL part. What does a part contain? Line. First TDL line. This is again declaration. Now this is a coding standard that as tally we follow. A uh, line definition is one tab space one tab. So line colon first TDL line and a line contains field first TDL field field again is double tab first TDL field and field is where we display the data and the attribute to display the data is set as welcome to the world of TDL. So that's the simple text that we have written. Okay, so we'll just revise this written code once again. Open square bracket as it's a definition. Hash the definition type menu. Colon gateway of tally. 